in this one, I am going to do a video on a new fish. Now, it's a new fish to you, so you will have not seen it before because I actually got this a fair few weeks ago and I got it before I decided to take the tanks down. I did an unboxing video from Wharf Aquatics and I never put the video out because then I decided to change my mind and take the tanks down. So in this video, I'm going to go right back and do the unboxing video because I've already recorded it. I might as well put it out there and then bring you right back up to date with an update on this species. This is from Wharf Aquatics, guys. And as you know, I'm a big fan of Wharf Aquatics. They are a fantastic company to work with and always amazing to do business with Alan, who always looks after me and does my shipments. There is eight fish in here. I'm just going to check that they're all okay. So let's have a look quickly. Yeah, all looking good. Yeah, all alive. Heat packs are still really warm. We don't need them. Um, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to get them floating in the quarantine tank, and then I'll show you a little bit closely them in the bags. I'm in the fish room. I'm moving. I'm going to move the bags into this tank. This is now. This has been my quarantine tank now for a couple of occasions. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab the bags out and we're going to float them. All eight fish are in the tank floating, and all eight fish are okay. Yes, they're a little bit stressed, so. We're just going to leave them floating in here now for around about 30 minutes. We'll get them in the tank. And when they're in the tank and a little bit more coloured up, I'll let you know what they are. So those fish in question were the Jack Dempsey cichlid. And there is a couple of male salvini in there too. Now, the thought process behind buying these Jack Dempseys were... There was a few, there was a few things I considered in this. So... Obviously where my head was at in the obby, and they are in the quarantine tank at this point, I will show you where we ended up moving them further on in the video. But where my head was in this obby, um, I was, as you all know, I was looking at taking a break and I was thinking to myself, do I buy something that's going to probably put me back in the mood? And it was probably the wrong thing to do, but... The Jack Dempsey cichlid was something that I'd been planning on getting at some point anyway. And I'll tell you why. Because I wanted to go back to some bread and butter. And this is the tank they're in. And you'll see them in this video. We are going to review this whole tank throughout this video. But at this moment, I'm just going to explain why I got the Jack Dempsey. And if you guys that have followed me a long time will know that I have moved a lot of fish on in the last couple of years. I've been chopping and changing, which we've spoke about in other videos. That's another video. But if you ask me the question, which fish was my biggest regret that I ever moved on, it would have been a pair of Jack Dempsey's that I owned probably now around about six years ago. For me, they were the nicest Jack Dempsey's that I'd seen. And as I'm talking now, you're checking out this L95 Orange Cheek Pleco, which as you can imagine, when I was filming this tank, I just... He was out and about and he's such an awesome beast. So I was capturing him. So that's why you're seeing him right now. But yeah, this pair of Jack Dempsey that I had were absolutely fantastic. And that, that's, that's the biggest regret from a fish I had. I used to breed them on a regular basis. And yeah, I moved them on because I basically took a tank down at some point And they were the fish that I'd moved on. Like we do, we always do this, don't we? And you'll see the ones that I got from Wharf are absolutely stunning. I want to grow my own pair out. I could have easily have asked Alan at Wharf who sorted this out for me to pick me a male and a female because the, the, the Jack Dempsey is an easy fish to, to sex. But I just said, give me a mixture of both. I want the pair to form on their own and it takes time. But do you know what? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch and document that happening and, and, and you never know, we might get a couple of pairs. I've not, had a, I've not actually had a really good look at these yet to see how many are male and how many are female, but I did ask for a mixture. They are quite small and they are in the lower tank, so yeah. But they're in with the Fericlis, the Fericfis maculapinis. Well, that was a mouthful, wasn't it? The former Eliotti cichlid. And there is that pair of Oplo that I showed you before and this big, beautiful L95 Pleco. He is an absolute brute. He is massive. He's about 12 inches and yeah, stunning, stunning fish. There is one Crypto Heraspilaris in there as well. 
And yeah, I'm at the moment I'm in a situation where I'm, so many tanks are being crammed with fish due to tanks being taken down. But yeah, this one is great. There's a lot of room in this one for him to grow. Those macula pinnis are absolutely prospering. They're growing at a good rate due to, to room. And we talk about this all the time. Give the fish room, they'll grow better. And they just, you know what, as you can see in that picture there, the Jack Dempsey's and the, the Macula Pinnies have got a hell of a lot of room to grow into. So yeah, that's what I bought. Maybe some of my reasons were, were not really right to buy them, but I was going to get this species at some point anyway. And I can fit them in this tank, so it's not a problem, is it? Anyway, guys, I just want to say a massive thank you, as I always do, for all the interaction that you guys give me, all the subscriptions, likes, comments, dislikes, whatever interaction it does mean a lot and it does help the channel if you're not subscribed to the channel guys consider subscribing it is free of charge it basically just click the subscribe button ping the bell for notification it's completely your choice but it would be very much appreciated if you did and yeah that's the last shot of this tank i'm signing off and i'll see you all on the next one